Hey everyone, it's Christy here from Ms. Foltz's Corner and I'm back with another tutorial for Work Your Blog Wednesday. This one is going to be all about PDFs, how to secure them, and also how to keep them editable. Um, and using PDFs is important because it protects your work and it also satisfies the terms of use on most of the clip art that you're using. So I'm going to use Adobe Acrobat Pro and I'm working just from a demo that I made. Um, I have version 10. It might look slightly different if you have a newer or older version, but again, mine's version 10. So on my PDFs, I usually include a page that let users know how to edit the document if you have left it editable, which is what we're looking at now. So I'm going to go down to one of the first pages, and I'm going to show you how to add a text box that later they will be able to edit. So it's actually up here under Comment, and we're going to go Drawing and Markups. Yours might be um, nested, so if you can't see it, just hit the arrow. And we're going to go to the text box. I can come over here, and I can draw it wherever I want it to be. And then I can put in sample text. Now, clearly, this isn't the color I want. So to edit that, I can click outside of the box and I can hit command or control E. And that brings up this text box properties. The first one's the color of the box. I don't want a color, so I hit no color. The second one's the outline. I can come over here and I can just tell it no border because I want the box to be invisible. Now that was great for changing the box, but the text is still really small, it's the wrong color. So now I want to change the text. So I'm going to click back in here, and I'm going to hit Control or Apple E again. And now that I have the text selected, that's going to bring up the new box. So I'm going to change the color to black. I'm going to change the font um, to something a little more fun. And I'm going to change the size. I'm going to make it big just so you can see it. You have all the options you usually have. You can center it, bold, strike through, whatever you want. So now I've made a sample text box. I can do as many of those as you want. To save you the trouble from going through the settings again, you can highlight it and you can copy it. You know, Command or Control or Apple C. I can go to the next page and I can paste it. Now this time it's too big for my binder cover but I have all the usual controls just like we're used to working with in PowerPoint. So I can grab that box. Now the text is too big. So again, I'm going to double click in there, highlight the text, and hit Command, Control, E, and I can make it smaller. If it's not in the right spot, I can click off, and I can drag it around. I can also use the arrows if I just want to nudge it a little bit. And again, I'm using command, control, depending on what kind of system you're using, E. Now that I've made the text boxes, I need to secure this document. Because if I don't secure it, it doesn't satisfy the terms of use in the clip art, and people can take your work and copy and paste it, move it into Word, or do whatever they want with it. So, securing it is under Tools. Again, we're going to go up here to the top. And I've already made some actions, which I want to show you. If you're going to secure products a lot, you can see I have two options. I have Products over here under Actions, and I have Calendars. Products is going to lock it down, and you can't modify it at all. Calendars, I use that for my editable products, like this binder cover. It's going to lock it down, everything except for the text boxes. So now I can secure my product in just one click. I can hit calendars, next, and it's done. It's secure. I don't have to do anything else except save it. Um, but if you don't already have an action made, I'm going to show you how to secure your product. So it's under protection over here under tools, more protection, security properties. If you select password security, change settings. 
nothing at top really matters. You're going to come down and check restrict editing. You're going to have to think of a password. You're not going to give that out, but that's so that if you want to go back later and change it. And then you get to decide printing allowed. Well, yes, you want them to print it. I select high resolution. Change is allowed. You can select none, and that's going to lock it down, and they're not going to be able to do anything with it. If you want them to be able to edit the text boxes, you want to select the next to last one, commenting, filling in form fields, and signing, and click OK. It's telling you that it's not going to take effect until you save it. Click OK, click OK. I want to show you one more way to put your info into your documents, which helps keep them um, secure. So you go up to File, Properties. Over here, click Description. Here you can add keywords to your PDF. I usually put terms of use in my website. So like www.missfoltzscorner.com and then I would paste in my terms of use. Also, additional data. Here, copyrighted. Again, I copied and pasted um, my terms of use here. Okay. This will not be able to be removed once you secure your PDF. So it locks it in. I'm going to save it. And now if you notice, up here on the top, in parentheses, it says secured. That means my PDF is locked down and I have protected my work and satisfied um, clip art terms of use. I hope that was helpful. If you have any other questions about your blog or Teachers Pay Teachers, shoot me a question over at Miss Foltz's Corner on Work Your Blog Wednesday.